Hey, what's up you guys? It's Simon. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are obviously taking a second look at the drawing program Ibis Paint X. It is a free drawing program and I have talked I have <laughs> I have talked about it on my channel before. Um, but I sort of just sketched in that video and I felt like I should have done a more um, in-depth analysis, I suppose, for YouTube because I did mention in that previous video that way, way back in my Instagram, I did used to use Ibis Paint X for some of my digital illustrations. So um, I was familiar with it, which is why I felt comfortable just doing a sketch. But uh, with the amount of comments that I got um, asking me to like, you know, uh, use the program to its fullest extent, I suppose, I was like, you know what, you're right, I should draw, I should paint with this, I should do something um, a little more in depth. So here is that video, we're going to be doing um, a little bit of a painting and just sort of um, recounting, I suppose, my thoughts. Um, revisiting the program like the title says obviously um so um quick reminder before we get into the meat of this video I suppose is that I want to remind y'all that the draw this in your style is still ongoing so um if you notice that I haven't commented or liked your post if you've participated in the draw this in your style so far the best thing for you to do is send me a message or leave a comment down below telling me what social media and uh what your username is on there uh, so that I can find your posts and obviously like and feature it on my stories because if I haven't left a comment or at the very least liked your posts, it's likely that I haven't seen it yet. So um, especially if you're on Amino, it's really hard to keep track of everything on there. So uh, if you're on Amino especially, let me know what Amino group you're in, what username you are, that way I can go and find your entry. Um, so yeah, uh, the Draw the Singer style will be ongoing until this July 24th, and then after that, on the 25th, I will be announcing the winners. So, yes, I'm looking very much forward to that, and there is still plenty of time to enter if you have not yet. So please go and do so. I'm really excited to see what you guys do. So, getting into the actual video. Some quick thoughts um, that I had while I was sort of starting up. I didn't sketch on screen for this video just because obviously I sketched in the last video and I wanted to get straight into the painting portion, but some thoughts that I had while I was sketching that I feel are important to remember that I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last video or that were um, just sort of a shock to me upon revisiting. So the first one is that there is no anti-palm technology and uh, that was definitely something that bothered me. I actually had to, uh, you know, refilm this video a couple of times because I kept just not being happy with the illustration and throughout each and every one of them, except for the last one, I kept accidentally activating the eyedropper or sketching when I didn't mean to or opening the other layers and doing all of this stuff because my, um, not my palm, but the side of my hand was resting on the surface of my iPad. Um, but obviously I mentioned that by the time I'd done the third illustration, which is the one that you guys are seeing now, it didn't happen nearly as often. So it is something that you can get used to and sort of learn to work around. Um, the next one is the transform tool. So uh, the first thought I had is that it leaves a little bit to be desired, but I do prefer it over Medibang because it allows me to rotate and stretch things a little bit easier. Um, I feel like Medibangs is very confusing and I say this every time I mention the Medibang, I am still trying to figure out their transform tool because it's very confusing. Um, I do, however, also think that the one for Ibis Paint X is somewhat confusing as well. Um, I think it's a little overcomplicated compared to Procreate because of just some minor details like the way you copy and paste things and deselect and also the fact that you can't rotate things to small degrees, like rotate things to the side if that makes sense. There's no like tilt, I suppose. It's really hard to describe what I mean, uh, but essentially uh, the only thing I could do for rotating things to the side was rotating to a 45 or 90 degree angle. So I had to experiment a little bit with the um, mesh and the perspective tool so that I could kind of get the effect that I wanted, but this can be a little bothersome and also could really mess with the proportions of your sketch if you're doing a large area. Um, luckily, I was just trying to move the lips around so I wasn't having too much trouble and I eventually was able to fix it, but I feel like 
I feel like, I really feel like I should have just been able to tilt it because the only thing that was wrong with it was I had it a little bit at um, a diagonal and I needed to move it to the side and then straighten it out a bit and I couldn't do that without having to mess with proportions so that was very odd um, however like I said I do prefer it over Medibang um, it's easier to get those mesh tools I don't even know where the mesh and perspective tool are in Medibang I know it's the same program if you guys want to tell me where it is please do um, but I, I think I just need to look at it for myself because it's causing me so much trouble so I do very much prefer I this over Medibang. Um, so yeah, it's still a decent transform tool, although it does, again, leave a little bit to be desired. Um, and then one last thing I noticed that I absolutely love is that there are more brushes, and I think even an area that allows you to import new ones. I didn't import brushes myself, obviously, but if somebody has tried to do so, let me know what you thought, because, um, that is awesome. Uh, yeah, so thoughts on the overall revisiting of the program. Um, as I said before, I started directly from a sketch because I only sketched with the pro program for my last review and I wanted to try and see how it did for painting. Um, and the first few times, I had a lot of trouble finding brushes that I enjoyed using. There's a lot of footage from my second attempt that you guys ended up not seeing that it just involves me going back and forth with brushes and messing with the opacity and trying to make it work and be something that I was comfortable with and I just couldn't seem to figure out uh, which brushes worked for me, especially in the hair. The whole reason that I ditched the second filming of this video was because I could not get the hair right because every brush I used was just sort of odd. All of the ones that are labeled hair have like some kind of like gradient to them. That was very strange, so I don't really like any of those. However, on my third recording, I managed to find these three brushes and they saved my life. They are the three variations of the Fade watercolor brushes. I'm obsessed with them. Um, I found that they blended things really nicely and made for a much nicer fade effect um, and sort of made it uh, a lot click clicker, <laughs> a lot quicker for me to paint. Um, I actually found that I was able to paint this like pretty quickly. Uh, I had started the sketch at my grandparents' house and by the time brunch was over, the painting was completed. So it was a little bit over like I want to say maybe an hour and a half but that's like counting me taking breaks in between to like eat and converse. So it was probably a little bit closer to like 40 minutes and it usually takes me much longer to paint even in Procreate. So these brushes are bomb and I love them very much. If you are um, someone who uses a bit of a painterly style, I would highly recommend them. Although um, I would be careful. Uh, I, I tend to use the most, um, I think, the watercolor fade opaque and then the watercolor fade water. Um, the water brush is very blendy. It blends very quickly and uh, like smooth things out almost immediately, almost to the point where uh, it almost, uh, how many times am I gonna say almost in this sentence? It like uh, cleanses, cleanses, what is the word? It like moves the color around so quickly that it almost immediately goes back to the base tone and so I have to keep bringing the opaque one in and then very gently blending it. I think if you lowered the opacity on the water brush that it would make it a little bit of a softer blend and it wouldn't immediately uh, squish out all that color if that makes sense. That was very hard to describe for no reason. Um, but I did very much enjoy that brush and I do like uh, a more blended style so that did really really help me. So, conclusions. Um, like I said last time, Ibis Paint X is an excellent program and I really like seeing all of the changes that it's made since I've last used it. Um, it's a free program, obviously, and it records your screen for you as well. So if you're somebody that's just getting into digital art or if you only have a phone to draw on because this is available on both the App Store and the Play Store, for your cell phone, so if you don't even have an iPad, if you don't have a Wacom tablet, if you don't have any of that, you can draw straight from your phone. I know, for example, I, um, when I was at work, I would use Ibis Paint X and a little stylus I bought at Walmart, and it worked just about as well as me working with, uh, you know, my tablet at home. So Ibis Paint X is an excellent program. If you can't afford Procreate, I do still very much enjoy Procreate. Uh, it 
like it used to be kind of like probably my second favorite up until the animation update so procreate is back to my favorite program but programs like ibis and like medibang are still awesome but now medibang which was at my number one is now at my number three and ibis paint x is back up to my number two so i do really enjoy ibis paint x especially the fact that it's free if you don't have procreate if you can't afford procreate if you can't afford all of these fancy materials that digital artists seems to have if you have a cell phone and you have data or internet or what have you download this app it's amazing and i really really do recommend it to anybody who is looking to get into digital art. Speaking of recommending things, I would recommend that you check out my Patreon where you can get your name shouted out with awesome people like Elise Thompson. I'm going to be adding so many things on there in the future. I have so many ideas. I'm playing with uh, monthly sticker packs and Patreon postcards and things like that. Obviously, it's still in production, so I haven't um, put those things out yet, but there are awesome things already on my Patreon like free line arts, free wallpapers, obviously shout outs like I said before, and a ton of other cool things. So if you're interested in any of that, please go check out my Patreon. It will be linked down below in the description. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!